I, I, I know when um, I was uh, working for the YWCA, that's when I got the, the job with the YWCA, uh, because I guess I like Latin music, you know, because when I met this lady uh, from Mex you know, for the Mexican heritage, well, that was just one introduction to Latin American music. And then I got a start hearing Puerto Rican music, and then I start hearing Cuban music. So all those things, it just got to me. I, I love dancing. I love, I used to do the cha-cha-cha. I used to do the mambo, all these things. It was a, just a, a pattern, you know. And so, uh, and so I would try to imitate. I would try to just create, you know. I, I would even make up songs in Spanish and whatnot. Yeah. So, but anyway, I always feel that maybe if, if, if it sounds pretty good, maybe somebody else might want to listen to it also. But I know, it. as I said, I'm just, I'm just one of those natural musicians. Didn't study, I just, it came about. So did you start playing for friends or performing for? Uh, I think I was performing for some of the, uh, the teenagers that I worked with. Uh, when I was uh, at the YWCA, and I had uh, I had Latin American club, I had the, the tango club, and, and all, and so uh, and so we would put I would we would put on different pro programs for the rest of the Y, and then I'd take them around to other Ys, and I would but I would uh, like when I would hear spirituals, I'd, I'd look up as many different types of spirituals as I could, and I. I like that sound too, you know, but but I also and then the blues came. It was something that just, you know. And so you would sing and accompany yourself. Uh, I, I you know what I accompanied myself with first was a tambourine, then a little uh, it was a Chinese tom tom, and then I just got another big a conga drum. <laughs> a Chinese tom tom? Yeah, somebody gave me that. I don't know, the West Coast. Yeah, I still have it, yeah. Yeah, it's good with all kinds of uh, Chinese figures, you know, dragons on it, yeah. Oh, yes. But uh, but so I I used, uh, so I, it was a long time before I started using, like, my baritone ukulele. I have a baritone ukulele now. And, um, and a friend of mine who played bass, uh, used to play string bass and he played uh, all kind of, also he played the guitar and baritone ukulele he said I want you to learn to play the ukulele you should learn to play the guitar so you can play sing more melodious songs and I said oh I don't have time for that he said well how about the baritone uke it's only four strings it's like the first four uh, you know the first string of four strings of a guitar so I said okay then, then I fell in love with some of the minor minor chords and I start, you know, but, but it's just like the, uh, I play uh, a minor key harmonica and because when I was in Europe, I found a lot of the people there played the, the, the minor key and I, I don't know, it's something that if I, I would have, to, I would be psyching myself out if I say, how does that happen? This is like a, when you t learn to type and you get a, you type right and you get the home row and all these things. And then, and then you say, how does my fingers really know? You know, it's like your fingers do the walk and all that, but how, how do your fingers know where to go? But it's just some, but I, I just, it was just here, I just, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like, a, this, this is a, this is a minor key, A minor uh, harmonica, and I'm just going to, I think you might know this song. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> but but you know, but it's the minor key. I can just can play by mere Mr. Shane. I can play almost, but I just I enjoy it. I feel it. And, oh. you know. <laughs> oh. I mean, it, 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 it you know it it strikes such a chord. It really does strike such a chord, and and you you just make it happen. It's like <laughs> magic, you know. I mean, it really is. It's like magic. You you um, you obviously uh, were drawn and have continue to be drawn to music from a variety of different cultures. That's very important yes. to you. Yes. Well, you know, it's a funny thing. Uh, there's a group. It's, it's National Association for the Education of Young Children. They have their annual meetings. Uh, well, they'll be having it in Atlanta this year. But there's a group of uh, Jewish women who have invited me to their Friday night, uh, you know, supper. And, um, but, but you're not supposed to play any instrument, you know, because it's, it's part of this, it's because they're, they're uh, orthodox, okay. So they, they did, they invited me for another time before they went, you know, not that Friday night, but uh, they said to come also a Thursday and at our regular meeting, and so you can play your harmonica. Well, I played Hatikva. That's that's the national the national the anthem of Israel. Well, I played this, and when I finished playing it, they were all standing. Because <laughs> when I when I'm playing something serious, I close my eyes. But when I open my eyes, they were all. <laughs> And I said, I, said, I guess maybe this is about the end of it. <laughs> but anyway, but they said, because they were standing for the end, but 